everybody welcome back to another big oggy kind of cornish quest but also a big oggy golfing diary today i'm at a place well if you're a regular to this channel over the years this would have been a regular place that we would have visited this is radnor golf club radnor golf club near red roof lovely fantastic little nine hole course very tough greens probably some of the toughest greens i've ever played on in the southwest I uh, haven't been here for quite some time. The old pro here has now moved on. Matt Tutner, the professor, who I used to do loads of lessons with here, etc. He's now in Launceston. Uh, so it's a bit of a whole new beginning here. I'm struggling a bit with my mental health at the moment. Hence the man down in Cornwall. Uh, Bangle, etc. I'm caught wearing at the moment. Um, so might not be a lot of chat on this. But I've been struggling with my health physically. And a little bit mentally at the moment. We're going to crack on. See how we go today. Just nine holes, bit of gentle golf. But we're uh, just going to knock this onto the green, hopefully, or near the green. Oh, still pretty pacey greens here. Tough, tough. So, nature of Radnor is uh, it's a little nine hole course, and therefore it gets really busy. So, I've just let one pair through. We've got three ball coming through now, even on the first hole. It's going to take me a few hours to do this nine holes today, but it doesn't really matter. I just need to get out, find some space, find some solace, I guess. Got some thoughts. Sometimes that's what golf's all about, isn't it? Playing golf by yourself isn't actually a lonely thing to do. Okay. Well, John did say that the uh, greens were green, and it's a bit green out here, but he didn't actually say the they were still Radnor fast, and they are pretty good, I think. So, we'll find out. Hmm, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll take a four to start the day. And I'll be very happy. So, I'm going to crack on. So, I'm just going to show you a few holes, and then maybe we'll have a chat. Maybe I won't. Doesn't matter today. It's about getting back on that course, getting out, a bit of fresh air, not feeling quite so stuck at home. You know, one thing I have to do, stop painting my studio black. <laughs> Maybe paint it white. Oh well, let's crack on, hole number two. So hole number two is, well, it shines a little bit worn out, but I think it's 140-ish yards. Uh, it gets very narrow down. Hopefully you can probably see down there where those gentlemen are. Gets quite narrow down towards the green. So we're going to let them go through and then uh, crack on. As I said, I don't normally use this course as a par 3. I would quite often use it as a par 4 and uh, be happy with that. I think these gentlemen might be on the second shots. Some of them might be on their third shot. It's a lovely little place to kind of just come and practice or, well, it's relatively flat relatively flat course so it's a uh, nice if you're no disrespect getting on a little bit in years as i probably am as i feel uh, or you're starting out they have a really good team here and uh, a lot of people think that oh your members of a little par three course or whatever they're not that good but believe me you can play on this course you can play anywhere and they do very well in lots of competitions so i'm going to set this up hopefully tee off in a minute just letting this gentleman play through. Uh, there's a little bit of a kind of a bowl at the bottom. So if you do hit long, you kind of hit onto the little slope and come down, but it's so narrow and so tricky, it's often just best to just knock it forward and then have a little chip onto the green with a bit of luck. So it's quite a narrow little course, so people do kind of end up in the wrong places here sometimes. Such is the nature of a tight little nine hole course, I guess. There we go. Ooh, bit thin. The bounce off that slope. That's okay. You got to chip in. Like I said I'm not here for decent golf today. About trying to fix this a little bit. Now, a quick apology because my bag's probably in the way of where it's got to go, but uh, I just over overwalked really. Didn't find it in the rough.
and I get that out. Oh, you might not have seen that, but it just came off the top of the flag. Uh, well, oh well. So sometimes golf's funny, sometimes it's cruel. Too hot on that pitch, no chipping run anyway. Damage limitation maybe. Need a good putt though. Round the houses, but it will take a four, as always. Go on to hole number three. So I'm going to show you a very quirky little hole, par three, 81 yards, down off this slope. Here's the tee box here. Down off that slope, there's a little kind of ditch at the front. There's a bunker over on the left and super tight. A bit of fun anyway. So this hole is always about the accuracy. It really is. Looks easy. Deceptive, very deceptive. So I got a little 50 wedge. There is a ball down there, which isn't mine. So at least we gained a ball today, I think. That's a little bit left. Oh, oh we just kicked left, so we're short of the bunker. So at least we go in the bunker, but we've got to get over it. Okay. We're going to find out. Okay. So at least I'm not in the bunker, but there's an awkward bump near the green and near the flag to get over. Little nine iron dink. Well, I don't think I could do any better than that. Let's go and tap that in. And we'll take a three. You really will. Right, on to hole number four. So, hole number four, 144 yards. There's a bunker right at the front of that flag. It gets narrow further up. Let's just get up there. Oh, that's not bad. Off that bump, it might go towards the bunker though. We'll have a look at that. We'll have a look. So as you can see, that's the mound we avoided. That's the bunker. I think I'm right at the front, not actually in the bunker. So it's still a tricky shot though. We're going to see what we can do. Okay, rock hard ground. It's going to be tough. Might be nice to go on that way. There's a bit of a mound at the back, so if I thin it, it's not really a problem. It'll just be sat at the back. Or I can do that. Oh, the flag again. So if I remember right, this is where um, Matt and I used to do like putting games. Really tricky green. We used to slope off and go towards the bunker. So it's going to be a tough one to get in. About eight feet. I'm going to go above it. Oh come on! I do actually remember a bit about this hole. No, like I said, sometimes. Memories are dark in my head. Sometimes the memories are rather good. Thank you, Matt, for reminding me about this hole. So number five, one of the longest holes on the course, 185 yards. We're gonna go five iron, just get it nearer. Have a little bit of a token gesture turn. And it's gone a little bit white, which I kind of expected I didn't turn around enough, but it's okay. Should be a bit of chip onto the green over the mound. This is the amphitheatre one, it's the one I thought we are going to play earlier. Mind, mind plays tricks on you, it does with me. Like right, I so it's going to be a tricky shot. Think about the aeroplane, John. Aim right. Aimed right. That should be there and thereabouts. We'll have a look. Look good. Well, it looked good, and I think that was good. I'm pretty sure it came down off this slope a little bit. But, uh, well, we got a putt for a three. Not quite, not quite. But we'll happily take a four. Ooh, move on to the next. I'm actually not playing too bad today. Funny, isn't it? If there was a day 
if I would end up in tears, and I still might, it would be today. So I'll just let two lovely ladies through. They're enjoying their game today. Well, hopefully one might be in the uh, awkward stuff over there on the right. So good to see more ladies out playing on the course. So this is a long hole, hole number six, 214 yards. And uh, with a series out of bounds on the right, which they nearly found. There's the green, gonna move this back, probably a bit too quick. You can see, quite a long way. Let them get closer to where they need to go, and then we'll go. I'm not gonna hit 214 yards up here. Again, another tricky green. For me, let's just get, well, hopefully up the fairway or somewhere down the left would be good. Okay, ladies on the green, I'm gonna just hit a little seven wood up. Up on the left, a bit too much on the left maybe, could be in those bushes, we'll, we'll find out. It's actually quite a nice strike, too far on the left, too straight. That's the gorse bushes exactly where I was thinking I might have gone in, but I think, I think we're there. I actually think we're there. That's my ball. We'll play it. If not, that will play it anyway. Now, some days the world's a bit kind to you. Feels like it today. Although I just had to sand a load of gorse bushes <laughs> to get that camera set up. And I'm still not sure if you can see it, but we're going to knock a 9 iron down. On the left, rolling in. Come on, ah, oh, she's got stuck in the grass. That's okay. Wow, what a green this is. Two's here, serious drop off over the back. Pin near the back edge. Hmm, that's a challenge. Let's just try and get on the green. Little dink. Up the slope, up the slope, down the slope. Slow down, oh, stop there, stop there. That's okay. I actually think that was pretty close to the hole. So my initial thought when I saw that pitch before I hit it, if I get this in in three, shots I've done very well. I have a chance to get it in in two. That's a difficult read. I think it's a little bit left to right and then it might drop down into that dip. Hmm. No. Misread. Misread. So tough. But happy with that in the end. Concerned the fact the first shot wasn't good, nor was really the second. Oh, on to hole number seven. Okay, 113 yards next hole. I don't have a tee on me. So, do our best, yeah? Big bunker on the left of the green. Lots of rubbish before the green. Thin, as always, but it's kind of getting up there. And I can still see it. I can still see it. Thank you for the course being a bit hard and dry right now. Hey look, not every shot's gonna be good, is it? Not on this channel. But it was straight-ish. Well, obviously it didn't go as far as I wanted, but it is findable, that's a good thing. Try and knock it up onto the green. Ooh, a bit hard, hmm. Knock that out of the long grass, I think, again. Whoa, so that was a bit tougher than I expected. And from there, that's not bad. Well, tricky old putt though. Doesn't matter. No, take your time, John. Yeah, messed the hole. Messed up the hole. I'm gonna have a little break, I'm waiting for my wife to call me. She wants to check I'm, I'm okay. And uh, then we'll do the last cut of holes. Hopefully, back a bit mentally stronger again, a bit more revived, yeah? Okay, we're on hole number eight, 183 yards. This is another long one. I'm gonna use a seven wood probably just to get it up on the right-hand side and let it roll down towards the fairway with a bit of luck. Um, why am I doing this video today when I'm really not very well? Well, one, because I feel I have to keep creating, otherwise, Many people out there forget the channel exists. 
that happens. Uh, two, because I want to prove that there is no stigma about mental health. I've always discussed mental health on here, especially my own. And uh, it's been a struggle the last few weeks. Um, I can be lonely in a crowded room, you know? So this last week or so, my wife took some time off of college, stayed with me. We got some medication, I'm back on new meds. Taking a while to get used to them. Um, quite nauseous in the morning, etc. But hopefully that will help. And uh, just wanting to get out and prove that you can still enjoy your life, really, irrespective of the fact you have a mental health illness, because that's what it is. It's an illness. I've had an illness like this since I was about 12 years old. I am currently moderate to highly depressed, according to the doctor. Not that I label myself. Um, I've been worse at times. I was sectioned at one point for my own safety. Um, I'm happy to talk about it. Happy to discuss that I'm still here. For one reason why I've got the uh, wristband on, man down Cornwall, uh, hashtag let's talk about it. Okay. Um, and it's why they are our charity for our Big Eye Golf Day. All the tickets are now sold out. We are completely sold out, uh, which is brilliant. Hopefully we're going to have a brilliant day at the end of August. Going to hopefully get a raffle together so that many of you who couldn't take part can take part in the raffle later on. But I'll tell you all about that when August happens. Whilst I'm making this video on this day, this is the Monday, you will hopefully by now have already seen Neil's latest video. Neil was so good he made his own video for me. Keep the channel going. Steve Treby and Neil and a couple of other people have made little YouTube shorts to keep the uh, channel going when I've not been well enough. Um, can't thank them enough really, that's what the Buccaneers are about, I guess, what the community is about. But I just want to let you know, I'm okay, I will get better, life gets better. Um, I've got a couple of uh, Cornish, proper Cornish Quest vlogs to do. Uh, Perrin Porth is coming up, Tahiti is coming up, yeah, we've got Tahiti now, after quite some time and a change of management. So that'll be in July, and I'm hoping I'm going to find some more before then, okay? Uh, but for now, it's just going to be me hitting some balls around the channel, keeping things ticking along, and thank you very much for your patience for continuing to watch. If you are struggling with mental health, please contact, well, all the various places, you know, whether it be Samaritans, or whether it be Mandan Cornwall, or uh, there's various other kind of Mandan style um, charities all around the country uh, with various different names. So please talk, okay? Uh, you can contact me, you can email me. I'm not very good on phones. I have a bit of a fear of phones, which is, again, one of those strange mental health issues. Um, but you can always um, message me on my social media and you can email me. And um, if I become brave enough, I can actually call you at some point. But if you need help, I can try and help too. It's what we do as a community, okay? So, we're going to crack on. I'm actually out playing today because my wife I had to go to college today for her last day. So she's in college just down the road so I'm here hitting some balls that's why she keep an eye on me making sure I'm okay been okay so far thank you very much for sticking with me hmm. yeah let's carry on shall we Call number eight 183 yards let's go well it's gone up on the right I need it to bounce down and it does bounce down or it's kind of coming down. Shame it's uh, not dried out on the course for the next few days. It's going to be very hot in Cornwall or in Cost in Britain this week. You had a yellow health warnings out there for the sun. This will be lovely and dry and baked hard in a few days' time. That will end up on the fairway. Still, we crack on. Okay, let's just try and get out without breaking my neck. That we do. Stay there. Stay there. Whew. Stay there. Just for the bunker. That's okay. Okay, that's the long way up the hill. But it's kind of up there. It's okay. Let some lads carry on. Now I'm rushing a little bit. Too many people around me now. Yep, safe enough. Oh, in the end, happy with that. Happy with that. 
So last hole for us today is hole number nine. It's about a hundred yards. Tiny little green pond in the front. It's the captain's charity hole. If you end up in the pond, you pay a quid to the charity. Those gentlemen just played through, but they're on 18, which is the team next to me. So let them go through and we'll relax. Let's set this up. Okay, so I'm going nine hour. Well, it's a bit thin, a bit low, but it's not going to get in the pond. We've got to dig across. That'll be all right. Like I said, it's not about the golf today. It's about explaining you can carry on and still play good, bad, indifferent. You can still get out and enjoy yourself despite having a bit of depression and not feeling too good sometimes. So let's finish up. I'm trying to get speared by the monkey puzzle tree. Well, it's pin I. I've not read on the green. That's okay. Okay, so I'm just letting some other people come through just to finish off before we do the last putt or two. Um, just want to say thank you very much to John here, the owner and uh, manager here at Radnor and uh, all the staff and all the members allowing me to come and film today. Thank you very much for watching. Not some particularly good golf, certainly at the end, but I think I did quite well for the first few holes. Just got a bit physically tired and a bit mentally fatigued. If you need help, if you need any help or advice out there, ask for it. Be honest, be honest with yourself, be honest with your family. Talk to people, okay? You are not alone in this world. You really aren't. Speak soon, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your patience. We'll be back very soon. Bye for now. Thank you. That's all right.